All right, everybody, continuing on with the stage two of Trek Day event featuring Aston Martin's V12 Speedster. Here we go. Taming of the Speedster. Maybe this isn't really the type of club that would suit you. I think he's addressing Ahmed, right? Thinking some real old and experienced folks talking about the good old days and what have you. I have had many a tarot readers tell me I have an old soul. I don't think that's what he meant, but okay. So perhaps we are kindred spirit, you and I. Yeah, not getting the hint. Uh, uh, not so uh, much kindred spirit as much uh, as you're a bit of a thick there. <laughs> But I take your point on the experience side of things. I have learned a lot and have more experience than most my age, but I remain humble. Ah, yes, not exactly the most self-aware individual here. <laughs> what? Truth? Uh, I must vacate to the bathroom, but once I return, let us have ourselves a friendly little competition and I shall prove my worth. Okay. I still need to get my blood pressure checked before I jump behind the wheel. You're right if our champion here re represents yours truly. So we get to take place of Norm. Okay. Yes, what an honor our competition will be. I will be back shortly. See you, Ahams. All right. So Norm's got a plan. <laughs> right now, I got another thing I'm going to need you to do for me. All right. Conspiracy time. Okay. So apparently Ahmed left his keys in the car. Of course he did. Uh, so we'll be driving his car and overheated. Uh, drafting should help. All right. So, so we got a uh, roundup. Stage 1 upgrades done here. 7 upgrades out of 28 total available. Brings the PR up to 49.8. So that should be enough to get us through this second stage. But that may just be the last stage that we are going to be able to pull off here. So, Alright. Overheating challenge. Alright. So. Alright. Not only will drafting help. But uh, I'm sure the drifting helps too. Drifting and drafting. And not so much drafting as it is much more of a pushing the skyline here. Alright. Let's heat up those engines. And uh, I forget which track layout we're in. This one looks like the one with the chicane here. Yep. Alright, we'll get behind. Is that a beamer? Not hard to tell. Alright. There's another skyline. Okay. Norm's just chilling. Yeah. Off, off track help? No, it looks like it was actually cooling down. That's no good. I need to get behind somebody. Okay. You. You there. I'm going to give you a push. There we go. Nicely overheating. And... Oh yeah. Engine should explode very soon. And there we go. Alright. Wait. Are we still going? Oh, okay. That was weird. Not sure what caused the... What triggers the... End of the goal there, because... Uh, oh, maybe I needed to come to a stop. Okay. Alright. So... One goal done. And takes out some four and a half service bars or so. All right. 
continuing on and I have returned in haste are we ready for some fun competition you sure your car's ready to go looks a bit run down there arms uh, it is quite dusty and the tires are bolder than I recall let me check alas the vehicle sounds like a dream what <laughs> a remarkable model wouldn't you agree <laughs> a, little, a little bit too remarkable damn <laughs> uh norm's plan has failed all right yes perfection is a burden damn let's race okay so next challenge we got a speed record okay sounds straightforward enough and oh i didn't catch the target speed i guess we'll just kind of go and see what we get and of course if you have difficulty you can always turn around and extend this uh, this main drag here since this is most likely the fastest sector sector of the circuit and yeah none of this sector really would make any difference just keep it clean so that way when you get to the number one uh, you don't end up uh, using up more service bars than necessary right so more off track you drive more service bars you take out Oh, Ahmed, 247. All right, so... And... Okay, this is the circuit with the, probably the fastest layout. 247... There we go. 249 and change. Close enough. All right. Yeah, they are cycling through different track layouts and uh, none of it is sticking to me. I cannot like link the name of the circuit layout to the actual layout, if you know what I mean. Just uh, guessing here. But anyway, we're making our way through the event. So it takes out maybe two and a half service bars for that effort. A lap around the circuit. Two goals down, two more to go. All right, another race, I say. Boy, persistent, isn't he? Don't know if you need to push yourself that, yourself that hard. You motivate me all the more to prove my worth. Norm, I don't think your plan is working. Listen, mate, when you're out there with Ahmed, you really, you're going to re need to really crush his hopes if you catch my drift. Oh, man kind of mean isn't it he needs to feel like he can win this so sneak up from the back up to seconds stick behind him for 25 seconds and hit the finish line at a top speed make him feel like he's just got it okay so i am assuming this is a tailgating challenge and uh with the top speed when you finish cross the finish line type of goal yeah, okay, so what was the speed? This one we need to be aware, huh? So 25 seconds of tailgating and uh, 248 kph, okay. And finish in second place, so we need to finish behind that net. All right, 247. Looks like we should be able to hit that speed Um, if we get a nice start. So, as long as we don't skid on the way into that final bit of the circuit, I think we should be okay. And let's see, is this the one with the west circuit, the one with the chicane here? No. Or is this the, just the straight through? Or we have the, ah, oh, this is the bus stop. Gotcha. All 
All right. So time to do some uh, tailgating. So not drafting, just need to stay behind Ahmed within certain distance. Oh, I need to be pretty close, huh? 23, 24, and tailgating is done. Now we just need to make sure we can hit that top speed. In second place. So I feel like I need to let Ahmed run a bit so we don't uh, he doesn't block our path because he's driving kind of slow all right so here we go we're gonna go flat out well actually I don't think this car can quite hold it through the final corner oh yeah 250 plus Pretty straightforward there, not too bad. All right. And that is going to take out another four, five service bars, which leaves me probably just enough for one more goal, huh? which lines up perfectly, uh, you know, one servicing per stage. All right, the final goal up stage two. Now the time to show he how he doesn't even stand a chance. Uh, win by 300 yards or 274.3 meters. So a 275 meter lead is what we're going to need. All right, so here we go. And this is the south circuit. Not sure which one that is. Is this the South Circuit, the one with the uh, the chicane earlier? I guess we'll find out. All right, we're in the lead. Now we just need to extend it out with all the time trials and s events that we've had here. Now I think we're getting. Yeah, we got the chicane here on this one. Oh, yeah, that, that one's tricky. But I think uh, we have a pretty uh, sizable lead already. So with another lap to go, I think we should be okay. Which is what you would expect in this type of events, right? Track day events typically not too challenging. So, alright. Early braking. There we go. A little bit better. Still could have taken it a little bit better. But I am still figuring out the breaking point and yeah we got a pretty sizable lead huh almost 400 so we'll let Ahmed catch up just a little bit in more like 320 meter range a little bit of buffer right all right so That is worth some 500 fame points. All right. So that is a wrap for stage two, isn't it? All right. So I don't need to service the car, but I feel like I should. <laughs> uh, you know what? We can talk about that in next stage. But for now, we're going to continue on. All right, so that is the end of stage two. Time to pick up some rewards. There should be some gold. Five gold. 
18,000 racing dollars and a thousand victory points. Let's see, last reward tier was racing dollar tier, so in the the roundup uh, victory point rewards, right? So this time it should be uh, motorsport dollars. Okay, thousand is that gonna get me to the next tier? Oh, uh, just a tiny bit shy. Okay. Oh, well. I really thought I had it there. Don't be too hard on yourself. Maybe the club just isn't your cup of tea. You could even start your own little billionaire's club or something. Do another racing event. Start baking as a hobby. Anything. Norm's trying to lose him. <laughs> no, I will remain resilient. Uh, I think you're remaining more like a thick than resilient. Not taking a hint. I will be part of your club. I will prove myself and show you how I can be of value to this classics club. Uh, the question is, Norm doesn't seem to want him. Look, Ahmed, I reckon just stick to the stuff you know. You, lo you lost the comp, but you're still a legend on the trek. A legend indeed. But, listen, I'm retired. I just want to get into my speedster and have some peace and some mates who like old cars without risking cardiac arrest. Eh, understandable. He wants to chill. I'm not interested in having more competitions. But why would anyone want to even join a club with no competition? Well, perhaps... Not much of a kinder spirit, are we? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going back home today anyway. I'm getting too homesick. And the American air is doing something to my lungs. Ah, yes. Uh, well, it's allergy season. So maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. I'll catch you all later. Mm, Ahmed. Speechless. He seems burdened by life, but not exactly the self-reflecting type, is he now? <laughs> All sorts of melancholy. Perhaps you should go to Melbourne with him? Oh. I meant what I said. I'm resilient and will work on my driving to one day be as skilled as I am beautiful. Alright, so I guess stage 3 will take place in Melbourne. But uh, I have a feeling... Uh, in order to get past the stage three, you're gonna need some gold upgrades. So I'm not sure if I'm really uh, that invested in this car, at least not on the on this account. So anyway, that'll do it for stage two playthrough. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.